and gentlemen, I am going to apologize to you all. I've been telling you guys that all the courts are consent courts. You have to submit to their jurisdiction. You have to volunteer. Just did the video earlier today explaining this. But I hadn't been paying attention. Sorry. There's been so much going on that I can't focus on everything all at the same time. Those of you who are going into bankruptcy court, we're doing it wrong. Seriously, we're doing it wrong. Here's the case right here. Stern versus Marshall and Northern Pipeline Construction Company versus Marathon Pipeline Company. These two cases are very important. If you're going through any foreclosure, you need to read these two cases. Bankruptcy is not your final option. Well, technically, bankruptcy is your final option, and it's your best option, but we're going into the wrong court for bankruptcy. We're going into the wrong court for bankruptcy. If you're in bankruptcy, do a removal to the federal court because your debt is private. It is not public debt. Bankruptcy courts cannot hear private debt matters. They can only hear public debt matters. Your debt is private. It is on the state level. Don't take my word for it. Read the cases. You're going to go into the so-called district court and read the same way you go into the bankruptcy court. Ladies and gentlemen, I'm debating as to whether or not I let y'all see my work product. You know what I mean? Because we got 25 cases explaining this. So guess what I'm going to do? Because my problem is I know people are going to be making these documents for people and making money off of it. Don't worry about it. I've already checked. Ain't nobody been doing this. I've already checked. All right. So anybody who is doing it, you'll know where they got it from. And I'm OK. I'm OK because the more people it helps, the better. Ladies and gentlemen, bankruptcy court is an Article One court. You don't have a right to an Article One court. I've been saying this for years. You have the right to access the judicial branch of government. Article One is not the judicial branch, even when they give you a magistrate in the district court. The magistrate is under Article, it's either Article 4 or Article 1. I forgot where the stupid magistrates are under. Okay, don't care, because I don't deal with magistrates, people. You don't have a right because that's a dual jurisdiction court. The magistrate has no authority over your constitutionally secured right. You, when you petition the court and you fill out their paperwork, you are consenting to their jurisdiction because you're signing a contract. Always reserve your rights with prejudice. Reservation of rights with prejudice. Please understand. Yes, I'm the creator and inventor of the phrase. If you can reserve your rights without recourse, you can reserve your rights with prejudice which means you don't give them up because you sign a piece of paper. You can even write that on every contract, reservation of rights with prejudice. You've heard people say, well, um, the signing of this document does not blah, 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 any and all rights, blah, 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 blah. You see how they always reserve it. Oh, this document is long, y'all. Y'all saw 74 pages. Let me let me take y'all up here so y'all can see, because y'all y'all don't understand. Hold on. Hold on. Shoot. This document is intended to be 74 pages long. See, I even brought up the Senate proclamation, uh, Senate proclamation, <laughs> presidential proclamation 2039, the Senate committee's findings, compensation. Oh, y'all going to pay me. I'm supposed to have a right. Oh, and by the way, because this is bankruptcy, I have a right to a trial by jury. I have a right to have a jury decide whether or not I'm bankrupt. Mm -hmm. I'm not joking. You have the right to a constitutional court. Since the value of your bankruptcy estate is greater than $20, you have a right to a trial by jury. I didn't say this. They said it. Okay. And I do love what I did here. Non-core issues in bankruptcy because we're bringing up non-core issues. Misguided and consent jurisdiction. We go into bankruptcy court filing bankruptcy, ladies and gentlemen. <sighs> We're not doing the bankruptcy thing no more. Not no bankruptcy court. We're going straight to the district court. I'm going to suggest y'all pay the fee. Oh, by the way, 
you can appeal the district court decision. You appeal it based upon the information here, your right to access to judicial branch. Your right to bankruptcy is a state right, not a federal right. Pay attention. Your right to bankruptcy is a state right, not a federal right. Just because Congress gave the bankruptcy court some jurisdiction over certain things doesn't mean that that's absolute jurisdiction. Jurisdiction comes from the Constitution, doesn't come from Congress. Congress doesn't have that. Remember, Congress shall make no law. First Amendment, go and read it. If you don't do anything else, go and reread the First Amendment. The very first words, Congress shall make no law. Respecting the right of the people to practice religion abridging their rights to freedom of speech, freedom of assembly, freedom of the press, and prohibiting them from interfering with your right to petition government, the judicial branch especially, for redress of grievances. Go read the First Amendment. It is not that complicated. Once you understand redress means correction of wrongs, compensation, reparations. Go and redress your petitions before the judicial branch, not before some legislative court known as the bankruptcy court. Man, we had it wrong. Got to go. Stern. Stern. And Northern Pipeline. You can even put those two in Google and they will tell you about the, pay attention, judicial power to non-Article three courts when private rights are at stake. There is no judicial power in a bankruptcy court. The bankruptcy courts are non-Article Three courts lacking constitutional authority to finally adjudicate private right claims. They are not courts, people. So do yourself a favor. Do yourself a favor. Go and read it. All right, I'll provide the link. I don't want to, but I'm going to provide the link. I ain't finished yet, but I'm going to provide what I got right now. May send you all the updated stuff, but don't know, don't know. As a matter of fact, I'm just going to take this document. Yeah, I'm going to give you all everything. Let you all see how we got here because, you know, oh, look at that. You see all that core issues, non-core issues? Man, look at that. And I just had it working. It's been working. Look at all that work that it's been doing. I mean, hey, woo -wee, we still going now. We, oh, we still go, oh, look, prayer for relief. All right, and he didn't do the salutations, you know, the true and correct junk, but we got it. So keep going. It's a long way up there. Okay, we there now. Let's go back down. You guys got the case citations. You have the arguments. Okay, I got more work to do, but I'm going to put it on a Word document. I'm going to load it up there on the internet so y'all can have it. Got to go, okay? Gotta go, gotta go, gotta go. I'm even gonna put this on Tiki Taki. Arrivederci.